All right, I'm using some uh, B and B black bag charcoal here, lump charcoal. We're making huli huli chicken here, which is basically Hawaiian for flipped chicken. It's a uh, chicken marinated with uh, pineapple juice, soy sauce, and so on. I'm you just uh, this way. I'm gonna dump it in the uh, firebox. This is hot, 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 hot. Okay, this is our maiden voyage in using the rotisserie. We've not done that because weather hasn't been cooperating. But today's the first time, I'll tell you that, I'm so happy. So we're gonna do a simple cook. These are just chicken thighs. I'll show you what they look like in a minute here. This is all the charcoal. Notice here, here is the uh, chicken. I'm gonna turn the uh, rotisserie. This is the uh, Casey Bake uh, basket. I, you can see I have eight uh, thighs in there. And I got four here. I'm gonna get to do that directly on the grill. And I'm gonna turn this on the very first time. Here it goes. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that thing go. Okay, I'm gonna move the truck over a little bit here. <sighs> See? An interesting experiment here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm going to cut this. Fire. I guess right over the fire. Hooli hooli chicken here. And uh, we'll see how this is. We're hoping this is good because this will be our dinner for tonight. And we'll have some leftovers too. So, in any case, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Eight, eight thighs in here. So, I know you can make this on a grill. You just flip this every two minutes or so. But this is uh, even better. I'm only doing eight because that's all we have room for. And this, I'm going to do this. I'm putting these on directly on the grill because we want some leftovers here. So <laughs> we have that. I'm going to close this down. All right, this is our maiden voyage and using the rotisserie. I just flipped the uh, huli huli chicken that's on the uh, grate there. You can see they're already getting color. And in very short order, look at the color they're uh, acquiring already. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. Very, very nice. And the nice thing about this rotisserie motor, I must say, it's very quiet too. Very quiet. Okay, it's been about a half an hour, and I'm very pleased with this uh, first cook with the rotisserie. Obviously, the uh, huli huli chicken that's on the grate is cooking fast, so look at that beautiful color there here. I moved it over to the indirect side here, off not directly over the coal, because it was just cooking much faster than this. You can see um, that this is uh, coming along quite well, too. I can't wait. We're just going to take our time. I'll give this, I don't know, maybe an hour. I don't know. Never done this before. And we'll see how it goes. Now, obviously, the uh, ones on the, on the grate directly won't require that much time. But the coal is very hot. And uh, we will just see how this will go here. This is uh, actually a, kind of a fun cook here, actually, because... Uh, on the rotisserie, you don't have to do very much. You just kind of look at that. That's getting nice and brown on that side. The coal's a little hotter there. I may open the door and spread that charcoal out a little bit here. Because uh, the uh, chicken on this side here doesn't seem as brown as the chicken on the right side. You can see. See that, guys? There you go. I'm just going to move some, spread some of that charcoal over and see if that will help things. Be back. It's a 45 minute mark here right now, and um, it looks, it's looking really good. Here, let's take it a closer. Look at that, look at that. Oh, look at that. Yes. Look at this. I 
Again, this is the uh, first time we're using the rotisserie on the uh, Hasty Bake 259. It's uh, been 55 minutes now, and, uh, and the chicken's coming out real good. I haven't really taken a temp here, but I'm looking. I'm thinking this is going to be done here soon if it's not done already. Any case here, as you can see, one of the nice things about the gourmet is that uh, I can have the rotisserie going and still preserve my grate on the bottom. Isn't that great? Now that is very flexible here. So, of course, depending on what you're cooking, but I can envision doing two whole chicken on the rotisserie and still maybe plop something down on the grate. And uh, that's pretty awesome. There's a the coal there, it's pretty hot here. And I may take the temp soon. You can see the uh, chicken skin is turning very brown. I'm gonna take a temp and I probably will take this off if it gets to the proper temperature here. Okay, I just took the Huli Huli chicken off the grill. I removed it out of the basket. It was great cook. It was a success, I think, for our first time. And it was a fun cook too. So here's what the uh, Huli Huli chicken looks like. Uh, I just took a little piece here, it was very tasty. There are a number of recipes you can find online. In any case, uh, God bless America, God save the Republic.